Hi everyone, uh, Weekend Warrior here with another tip uh, that will hopefully save you time and money. More specifically, we're going to be fixing this uh, Frigidaire refrigerator that uh, has been leaking uh, lately and so we're going to look into that problem. Uh, the, the leak uh, manifests itself uh, primarily by water pulling underneath these drawers and then coming out from uh, through the door seal and onto the floor. A lot of times you get rust build up uh, over here. We don't have rust uh, just yet because we're addressing the problem timely. But over time, uh, these frames do tend to rust. And uh, right now it's dry. And so we're gonna make sure that uh, it continues to stay that way. And so uh, the only tool that we will need for this repair is this quarter inch uh, socket driver. And, um, and that's pretty much it. And so without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Okay, uh, so first thing, we will remove this top shelf so that it's not in our way. Secondly, uh, we're gonna make sure that our main power is off. Uh, either the fridge is unplugged or um, the circuit breaker is off. And so what we need to do is we need to remove this, uh, this whole assembly. And, um, and I'll show you where the water uh, comes from. So without further ado, with our socket wrench, uh, there's uh, one, two, there's four bolts. Uh, so two of them here at the front and two bolts in the rear, uh, one on each side. So we need to undo these. And okay. I like to um, undo the rear bolts first and leave one front bolt here so that it still keeps the assembly in place uh, because this assembly actually there is a little uh, nipple that goes into a hole in this back wall and so it's essentially holding itself in place until I'm ready to take it out. So I take the front, uh, the last front screw out last, just like this, it fell out. And so now we need to undo this electrical connection, which we can do just by pressing the, these two little uh, plastic wings like this wiggle it a little bit and pull it out and then we just pull the assembly out and so an important thing thing to show is this is where uh, the problem lies this little bucket collects uh, water that comes from the freezer that drains from the freezer whenever uh, the fridge goes into uh, the thaw cycle and so any water any excess water comes out goes into um, Into this little collector bin and then drains uh, through this nipple Into into the hole in the back and this this runs all the way down to the bottom and Evaporates from the evaporator pan that's at the bottom of the fridge and so a lot of times this hole gets plugged or clogged by whatever goop and junk uh, that may come from the freezer. And when that happens, then this overflows and essentially the water just runs on, uh, along the back side of the fridge and it runs to the bottom, collects at the bottom here and then comes right out uh, from through the door seal. And a lot of times people don't see where the water is coming from because they have their foodstuffs in the fridge. And so the back wall is not usually visible. And so as such, a lot of people think that their fridge is leaking and they may need to buy another fridge or call a specialist, but it's a really easy repair because all we need to do is uh, just with a short screwdriver, uh, punch a hole through here. Well, not punch a hole, but uh, just go through this hole to clear it out. Also pull out any junk that may be here, just like this junk that uh, I just pulled out, which clogs the, uh, which clogs the, the hole. Otherwise the hole is fairly clean. And so all we need to do is we're, we're just gonna clean this. And after that, our fridge is gonna be as good as new. All right, uh, so we just uh, cleaned this uh, little nipple. It's, it's clear to go, uh, good to go. We pulled out uh, all the junk from here and uh, there's, 
there's nothing in in this drain hole it's also clear and so with that we can put our fridge back together again so that we, we just got to make sure that the nipple goes straight into the hole and and then we need to reconnect our electrical connection here and we just push it up until it locks into place uh, and then we fold the wires a little bit and we screw it screwed back in That's it, and so the, the assembly is back in place. Uh, we know that the drain hole is now clear, and whenever the fridge goes into the uh, thaw cycle now, the water is just going to drain the way that it was designed to, and we're never going to have the water collecting with uh, that. This is our project for the week. I uh, hope this helps you, and uh, good luck with yours. If uh, there are any comments or questions, please feel free to leave those uh, down at the bottom and we'll do our best to respond to everyone.